All right. Hi, guys. I'm Brittany, and we are here for a Pixie Dust Productions adventure. Um, and as you can see, I am not in my normal space, and I am not with my normal co-hosts. I have with me my husband, Austin, who is also our editing superstar. He makes everything be amazing. And we also have with us the two people that made him possible, my in-laws, Mike and Jenny, who are also amazing. Nice. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about a family vacation that we recently took to the Wolf Lodge in Concord, North Carolina. We had never been there before. We took our four kids, they're age, between ages eight and three. We didn't really know exactly what to expect. I mean, we did like some light browsing um, on the website, but we didn't have a whole lot of expectations placed with it. But uh, Mike and Jenny had actually gone to the Scottsdale, Arizona location um, twice prior with Austin's sister and her children. So they had a little bit of background information more than we had. It's definitely not adult oriented. <laughs> it's, uh, it's for kids. If you don't have children with you, you're not going to have a good time. It's, it's for them, for sure. Ages of 5 to 12, probably, probably yeah. preferably. I saw oh, a even... lot of people that were like 20 to 30. <laughs> yeah, I really want to dispute that claim really quick on, on two <laughs> points here. Yeah, okay. One, I would love to go on a wizarding adventure by myself where my kids don't get <laughs> bored in the middle of it. And two, I got a frozen Jack and Coke, and they weren't giving those to kids. Oh, that's true. But that's because that's most people have kids, which is why they're giving out the jacket <laughs> cloaks. <laughs> oh, that's true. And they do have adult size uh, cloaks or capes for the true. Magic Quest. No, you, true, I that... also saw that they had adult sized floaties, like uh, flotation devices at the pool. <laughs> like as well. arm floaties? You, no, like 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 the the ch clip on chest vest things. Life vests. Yeah. That's what they're called. Are you sure Probably those weren't vests. just for chubby children? It said adult on the oh. size face. <laughs> I saw the, the chubby kid vest. Yeah, there was the regular kid vest, the skinny kid vest, and the chubby kid vest. We call them oh. the adult vest. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. There are definitely uh, adults could have fun there, but it's very much oriented toward children from, you know, with the story time and all that. You know, there are certainly activities there that adults can enjoy also. We, we knew kind of what to expect because like you said, we've been to the one in Arizona. There are definitely a few differences just in the way it's run. One is um, the one in North Carolina actually had more activities. So in Arizona, we didn't have laser tag um, or in North Carolina, they have the, um, the 3D theater and some other activity, but some of these things were closed because of of uh, the COVID stuff. So they didn't, not all of those activities were open there, but they definitely had more potentially available. So I think for what we expected we got, which was spending time with the kids and having fun with them and, and all that. I felt bad for uh, Salem. She, I think she was confused and thought we lived there because she made comments about going back to our house where the where we have the water slides and everything. Yeah, she does want to go back to your guys' house. She very <laughs> much wants to. But it was very fun. I mean, yeah. we had a great time and I think we only needed to stay there for one night to make it all worthwhile because, you know, you can arrive in the morning, the first day and spend the entire day, spend the night, and then you can have the next day, even though you have to check out of your hotel at 11, um, you can stay until, you know, the water park closes at eight o'clock at night. Yeah, you still have access so, to everything the next day. Yeah, so. so two full days there is is, I mean, it's not, I mean, granted the children would have wanted to stay there longer or live there, <laughs> but, um, but you know, two, two days and one night was sufficient for, for our, what we wanted to accomplish while we were there with the kids. So, and it was exhausting. <laughs> and we got these amazing ears. If anyone's been watching the channel for more than just this video, you understand that I love ears. I have many, many ears. <laughs> and Austin looks like he's enjoying his ears. He's so enthused. I can't take them off. I haven't taken them off since we, since we got since back. We you have the wristband and the ears on ever since Yep. Then. Selena still has both of her wristbands on. She will not take them really? off. Really? Like how is she supposed to get back into your house if she doesn't have them on? Think about it. <laughs> oh, that's true. They have different passes that you can buy for the children. It's a, um, a lanyard with a little pass card on it. with, And then on the flip side, it has all the different activities and things that, that they're allowed to do wearing that pass. 
I think also so. the fact that it lists it all and as they go through each thing, it gets checked off. So it's kind of a more of a goal to let's get all our things done. And it's like almost like a list, you know, like I love lists. It's exactly you know, like a list. In fact, I, I like venture lists. to say it is a list. Well, it's like a checkoff list. It is. So it's literally checking check off. off <laughs> and it's like, okay, we've got to get this done. Yeah, and you're right. So, no, nobody mentioned that before. And then did I mention it's like a checkoff list? <laughs> and um, while you're there in the facility, there you have these like wands, and there's these missions that you go on that you have mm -hmm. to complete. And within that is this like right. personal mission that you have to go on and complete these right. fun activities. So right. Just so a mission what, within a mission, and I love that. Right. So so let's name off some of the things that were on the Wolf Pass. There is the miniature golf bowling well it, we we call it putt putt we do yeah, and so. selena spent <laughs> more of the golfing time um picking up rocks and putting them in her overall pocket than actually yes. Golfing. she was collecting so rocks, that's so. also a side activity that you can help yourself to that's okay true. so that's just, true. just true. Not on the list, enough, for like the sake of editing for me <laughs> list of <laughs> list of activities here <laughs> yes the activities listed were um miniature bowling it was like Canadian bowling. Yeah. Miniature bowling. What mm -hmm. else? Uh, putt putt. Yes. Uh, a scoop of ice cream. Normally, there was you get um, a few dollars in their arcade to spend. But the arcade was closed. It also came with uh, a build a bear. A build a bear. It came with a showing at their 3D movie theater that was closed though. It came with a, a some sort of 3D escape room activity that was closed. Laser tag laser is definitely tag. for the older end of children, as the laser right. passes were large and a little bit. They were. Yeah, but that's something to keep in mind. It's very much for the younger children because the walls and everything are super short, so you that's need to keep that true. in mind. Okay, so if you're like maybe the nine. If you're, to if you're a child that wears an adult vest at the pool. <laughs> Yes, that child. That child is made that's for the laser tag. Okay, there was the cup of candy. Yeah. The full yeah. cup of candy. They yeah. got they got a wand for the Magic Quest game. So yeah, the, so the Magic Quest game is actually one of the coolest things about going to Great Wolf, because uh, what you do you you get a wand from the Magic Quest store or whatever it is, but then there are um, items throughout the whole resort that you have to find and use the wand, you point to it with the wand. It's a game. Yeah, it's not real magic, <laughs> people, it's a game. Point to it with this uh, toy wand, but when you do that, it, it reacts and it recognizes uh, whose wand that is. So it, it, you move forward through the game by finding certain artifacts and so forth. Unfortunately, there a lot of the pieces to that puzzle were missing or broken. It's, a, it's really fun. The one in Arizona was, is brand new, so there's that they you know everything's brand new and works pretty well but again it's new the one in North Carolina is several years older and uh, also we got there the day after they finally reopened from COVID so they've been closed for months and months and months I'm sure most of the staff was new those that weren't new weren't sure of what was going on or how to deal with it so I cut them some slack for that but yeah I think my biggest frustration there was not that things weren't perfect, but rather nobody was willing to communicate with you. And simple things like putting the hours of laser tag on the door wasn't done, wasn't done. And I had to keep going back to the front desk to ask them, is that going to be open? And nobody would know. Everybody had different answers and nobody knew when or if. So was, the communication thing was very frustrating. That was frustrating. Although I will definitely give them high points in the ice cream department, as I do have two children with dairy allergies who couldn't get their scoop of ice cream that came on their badge. And they were willing to work with us and find a treat that was um, safe and fun for them to choose from their shop instead. And I really, really appreciated that. Because of COVID, they removed all the seating throughout the whole facility except in the water park area and we weren't allowed to bring food our own food into the water park area and so there's nowhere to so, sit and eat your own food or anything. Yeah. it's um so because there's no chairs anywhere um you know we wouldn't have been able to just find a dining table or picnic table or something where we could all sit down and, I, and bring um, our own sandwiches yeah I, I don't know why they removed every seat in the whole resort <laughs> no not one seat or bench or anything to sit at 
with someone you're with or, or by yourself. Um, so that was, that was just very odd. Even in the bowling alley, when you go in with your group, you're all together. It's, you're staying in the same room together. Everything's together. But for some reason, you go in the bowling alley, there's nowhere to sit. Everybody has to stand around waiting their turn. To quote one of my very favorite people, it was super rude. I am not a person that enjoys public pools. Like anytime <laughs> that opportunity comes up, I would, just, I would rather not. But this is it the, is it the crowded crowd of people wearing not many clothes or all the urine, which which is uh huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> but um, but this was actually really really fun. I enjoyed it a lot more than just like a public pool since there was so many different um, like slides and different places to move about to. I wasn't like stationary just making sure a bunch of kids don't drown I was you know there was movement and I much preferred that um my oldest was the only one able to go on every single slide um so roughly about you know seven to nine years old is going to give you first access to all of the slides in the water park um, my five and six year olds were able to go on all except for one. So they weren't missing out on hardly anything. And gosh, my three year old had. You know, I spent a long time with her in the, in the kiddie pool area, but it has a little yeah, slide. Yeah. yeah. And she so, loved it. She, uh, I, she, that was so much fun. So I think there was four slides she couldn't go on and three that she could, plus she could be in the wave pool and like it was definitely more than enough to keep her happy. She did not even feel yeah. like she was missing out on what the other kids were doing. It's plenty for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, I feel like the, the water park is probably the highlight for the kids and, oh, yeah. you know, and even the adults. I mean, it's just that the, you know, having an indoor water park is so nice because you're not cold, you know, the, it's, the temperature's regulated. Mm -hmm. and um and there's so many like you said so many areas that you can play and have fun you know different um combinations of um you know whether it's like the activity pool or the um the wave pool or the various slides tubes and slides um or that what was that one like jungle gym creation thing with slides. oh yeah the big <laughs> thing in the middle with yeah it's like a big water playground with yeah buckets and slides and water spray things but but it's yeah it's like much like... lower depths which is nice yeah, yeah. both yeah. of the resorts that we did the one here in arizona and that we did in the last several months um and they were at reduced capacity it was great because it didn't feel overcrowded really there the swim area the um, water park area is the most crowded in the resort, if anything, um, there were times where it felt like there's quite a few people here. But um, in the water park, it was, it was it was full, but it was not overcrowded. You didn't feel like it was, you know, an overwhelming number of people. I would imagine during the high season when there's no restrictions for capacity and people can buy day passes to that pool, it's got to be just packed full. Yeah, knowing that they're they were only at like forty percent capacity. Yeah makes me not want to go there when there's no restrictions like there, right. there was, it, it was enough the, people that I yeah. wasn't overwhelmed but I don't want to go beyond it you know it, and one thing that was like upsetting to me personally is you know the wolf pass that we got the kids cost $79.99 a piece um you know that was the most expensive pass with the most things listed and um you know three of those items that are on were on there were shut down and yet they're charging full price you know they did say you know well you can do the bowling twice or you can do you know you can you can do you can repeat a couple of activities you know but they didn't but, offer that up front that was only after right brought right. it to their attention that they're right and, and frankly correct. and frankly correct. the kids had that check off of doing bowling so they don't they I mean, they enjoyed going back to the bowling. That's fine, but they would have. It would have been much more exciting to right. do the other new thing. Right. They sh and they should the have. Stuff. They should have discounted the Wolf Pass price initially, because well, for one, it's not even. It wasn't even listed on the website that the you know the all three of those extra things were um, closed down. So you go there expecting. 
um, to get what everything, you're for. yeah, to get what you're going there for. And then you get there and then you find out after you've purchased it, you find out that it, that you can't even use everything on that. Yeah. This was three out of seven things that were closed. <laughs> so, seven. No, seven things of the activities oh, that were activities. listed. Yeah. And so, you know, that that's significant. But anyway. And like the poor salt on the wound with that one, they still had old expired signage up saying that that same pass cost $59.99. Right. right. And yeah. that was still yeah. visible for everybody who just paid $79.99. Right. Yeah. $20 in fact, difference. In fact, pass. you talked to the manager at one point to yes. talk about some of this and he, he didn't even know how much those passes cost. Right. He had no idea how much right. they were charging. Yeah. For those things. And then, you know, and I did bring up quite a few of the dis disappointments, you know, that we had noted in, in the difference between Arizona and North Carolina. And, um, and he was, he wasn't like the top manager, but he and he had come from another um, another Great Wolf Lodge in another state, and um, and he was seeing some of the things I was seeing, and 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 some of the things I pointed out to him he hadn't even seen yet or you know figured out for himself. But you know he did say you know well I'll bring all this up to my top manager, and um, and he'll get a hold of you and. Um, you know, we'll, we'll get something like settled, you know, between us, you know, so he kind of alluded that maybe we would get something, you know, <laughs> um, some compensation or something. And um, we never received an email. We never received anything at all. And then when I got home, I sent a message to them and, um, and never received anything back and then i think you sent something to them as well yeah so yeah so they're not only are they like kind of vacant when you're there on the premise premises but they're vacant <laughs> you know as far as like online trying to reach out to them too but regardless of all of that i mean it is a it is a fun place to go and you know and i would i do it again with taking you guys and the kids even knowing uh, the negatives say again and i, I, and I, I would, would do it, do it again, again. Yep. i would do it again and you know think about it it's for the kids they didn't know the 3d movie theater was closed or any of that they don't care right. they had a good time and so it was definitely worth it well all right thank you so much for joining me to um Let's start over. Discuss. Yeah. You can edit. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining la, me. La, la, la. <laughs> I'll just cut that part out. I'm the editor. I can do whatever I want. Yes. Thank you for joining me to talk about our. Got it. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Don't go down. So what did we have to do? I don't know. We just had to just sit down and take a book on heel. Where did we sit to eat ice cream? I don't know. Right there. Oh, that's how we can just bounce, 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 and we will start to clean up again. Yeah. And what about when we were bowling? Or what did, how, what happened with bowling? Oh. We don't have any chairs either. No chairs to sit on when we were bowling, when we were taking turns? No, not at all. We just played that bowling game. It's super rude. Yeah, it's rude, isn't it? Yep. And what about these? Mask? We don't need masks because we don't need masks and that's super rude. Yeah. So, and what about dinner last night? Mm -hmm. We couldn't even sit at the same table all together, right? Yeah. They made us sit at two different tables as a family. Yeah. And that's super rude. That's rude too. Yeah. So how do you feel about everything? Yeah. You just don't like it? No, I don't like when everyone takes all the chairs off. Right. Now you have to sit here at the fireplace? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow. <sighs>